Today we're talking about sets in mathematics. In mathematics, a set is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects of our perception and thought, considered as an object in its own right. The founder of the set theory is George Cantor, a well-known German mathematician. Sets are usually symbolized using capital letters of the English alphabet, such as A, B, or M. Their components are written down inside curly brackets in two ways, either by simply writing them down or by describing them. For example, we can set an equation, which they fulfill. Two sets are equal when they have exactly the same components. Also, a set A is a subset of another set B if every single component of A is also a component of B. We can also say that any set is a subset of itself. Now, if a set A is a subset of another set B, which is a subset of a third set C, then we can say that A is a subset of C. Finally, if a set A is a subset of another set B and the opposite, if B is a subset of A, then A and B are equal. There is also a special set called the empty set. Though a lot of people tend to confuse it with zero, this set has absolutely no components. We can say that the empty set is a subset of any set. What most people are familiar with though, that is relative to set theory, are Venn diagrams. When using Venn diagrams, we usually have a hyperset symbolized with a capital letter, like Omega, that contains all of our components. That can lead to another story which we will talk about in another video. You can also perform arithmetical operations with sets. For example, let's say that we have two sets, one named A and one named B. Then, all their components that are either in one, the other or both sets are called a union of these sets. Their common components are called intersection of these sets and you can also do, for example, A minus B which is all of A's components minus the intersection of A and B. And then of course, you can go to more complicated operations, such as the union of A minus B and B minus A, which is equal to the union of A and B minus the intersection of A and B. There is also a thing called a complement of a set. This is a set that contains all of Omega's components that are not included in the set. We can also say that Omega's complement is the empty set, and the empty set's complement is Omega. So that's the basics of set theory, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out some of my other videos like song covers or flash professional tutorials. Thanks for watching.